Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, coming to you live for the second time today. If you watched the first live stream this morning, about an hour and a half ago or so, maybe it was like an hour ago, you seen me load up this Joe cord, and uh, the rain, the rain is still coming down, still coming down nice and hard, but guess what, I'm in the customer's garage, they, they buy a couple, two or three Joe cords for me a year. And uh, what I what I do is I come out here and I, I just dump it right there, and then they move it into their backyard. So I I, I left uh, I left a little tripod in bay two from the first live stream. So I always keep this tripod in the truck just in case I got to do a live stream live stream and show you guys what I'm doing. And uh, I got to adjust this real quick. And hopefully, if you missed this morning's live stream, you should watch it. But what we got in here, we got uh, cherry and ash, walnut, sassafras, all dry. It all came out of bay number two. And uh, oh, we got some thumbs up coming finally. Like you say, I, I'm putting you on this tripod. I guess I should have adjusted it before I tried doing it. Of course, somehow it gets either loose or tight where it clamps the, the phone, my phone in. So there we go. Um, I got Rogala's shoes, or shoes, Rogala's uh, um, gloves in my pocket. Uh, I'm going to set you right over here on this so you guys don't miss a thing. And uh, I can't really see if it's a, uh, all I know is the aim's good. And I might need to tilt it down just a little bit. So you can see it might not be totally straight. Let me move these uh for a second I'll put them back these extension cords I'm trying to set it on there we go looks like I think that'll work looks like it's a little cockeyed but I think I think you can see all the action maybe go back go this way a little bit there we go I think you can see me might be a little tilted but uh you know I'm, I, I could set you on the ground then you wouldn't see everything so i'm going to start loading from this uh, uh, unloading from this other side here it's probably straight enough for you if not you know have a drink and then it'll look normal to you so like i say i'll put this down here all this came out of bay number two this joe cord so when they stack it it'll be a stack a stick uh, about t 10 feet long by four feet tall approximately and uh, they've been buying for me for several years probably seven or eight years now two two loads a year I think they're really gonna like this wood you know I got that good wood I got the good wood folks but just working on a Saturday, you know, even in the rain, but nice and dry in here. So that's what I try to do when I get, custom, you know, repeat customers that I know how they uh, want the wood. So I made sure I seen the weather forecast and they're saying two inches of rain today. You know, it started yesterday. Hopefully it's out of here by tomorrow. And, uh. I said, well, I'll just, I think that'll be a good day to deliver to them. And I stayed dry loading it inside bay number two. Like I said, if you missed that live stream this morning, check it out. Also, I was going to request a favor from you guys. Uh, the shorts videos or the reels, the, they're called reels or whatever. That's what Facebook calls them. YouTube calls them shorts. But I usually publish two a day, one like at 8 o'clock in the morning and then one at 6 p.m. in the evening on my time, Eastern Standard. <clears throat> Share those videos out. I, I know the one that is coming out tomorrow, you, you probably have seen it. It's when, the, uh, when I was trying to split some of my brother's junk boiler wood and the log flipped backwards and smash, smashed into the Easton made and, and it blew up and... Uh, Hydraulic fluid went all over me. Luckily, I was wearing my glasses. It blasted me in the face, too. So that video is coming out tomorrow. I want to try to make that go viral. So if you would, you know, share the ones that you like. But everybody likes that one. I know 
Jeffrey from Mountain Top Outdoors likes it. But if you watch my delivery yesterday, I, uh, I wheelbarrowed and stacked it. I only charged him $40, but no, uh, no delivery fee here. Well, delivery, I charged him $40 to drive here. And uh, the wood's 160 So, but by dumping it, there is, uh, I don't charge them for this. This is just part of the part of the deal. And I know people scream at me, I get a dump trailer. I spend five, six thousand, spend ten thousand dollars on a dump trailer. Uh, you think a dump trailer is going to work in, inside this garage? Huh? You know, people, everybody knows it. Everybody's an expert. All these people that give me, you know, and I know, I know, uh, some people, you know, are, are good, are good hearted about it. They don't mean anything bad. And, uh, but then there's other guys that, you, oh, you're stupid. You should get this. And you, should, you should spend about 80 grand on equipment when you're selling it. You know, I, I'm making maybe, maybe 25, 30 a year tops in profit. And they want me to spend tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands on equipment. I always say, put your money where your mouth is. Oh, no, no, I, no, 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 I ain't doing that. No, no. Well, then, then don't tell me to do it. Like I say, I like to try to keep my overhead as cheap as possible. So I'm driving this, you know, 2007 with that 16-year-old truck, 202,000 miles on it. Uh, you need a, you need a three-quarter ton 2024 Ford or one ton for... They're only a hundred thousand dollars or 115 buy one of those and you can haul all the wood in the world no not doing it not doing it there all right I've got a base you know I've tried not to hit their stuff hit their stuff in the back there but uh doing it like this you know that so this isn't gonna be a very long video usually takes me about 10 12 minutes but if I'm talking to you guys it might take a little bit longer I'm trying to throw it kind of in a pile for them so when they move it out to their backyard because I, I guess they got some storage racks out there it'd be easier for them oh. get it nice and close to the door but I don't want to you know block the door going into the house and they parked their cars outside they got them out of the way for me that one felt kind of heavy that's why I put it I threw it over there that means you're gonna pick that one up first put it on the bottom and it can dry out but most of the stuff's ready I mean that 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 piece of ash I just threw real light it's ready See, I don't need I don't need Mike's help for this. Could have used him yesterday, but I got it done. I got it done. Like I always do. If I'm by myself or if I got help, JPF always gets the job done. But yeah, it's a Saturday. It's about lunchtime. I got leftovers. If you watched the first video, you would have seen that I I went out went out for dinner last night. And then I always I usually order to go, and then I had leftovers, so those will be a couple meals I got coming to me. Or uh, you know, like today, tomorrow. And I think tomorrow, weather permitting, I, I'm going to split a load into the truck, another another Joe cord like this, and then deliver it, and try to get home by the time for the Lions game. But I I think they actually play at four four twenty five. Not sure what time Michigan plays today. They might be already playing. Indiana Rogales team So it could have already started. I don't know really didn't pay attention. I mean 30, It's homecoming, but they're like what, 33 and a half point favorite So Probably gonna be a blowout They just keep getting better every week they're Ready to take on them buck them Buckeyes At the end of the year last game of the year. I'm ready for that 
So, like I said, when I get this out, I can't see what you're saying. I don't want to really stop and do it because, I, I mean, I'm in their garage. So, I'm trying to get out of here as soon as possible. I might have to grab Rogala's rake. You watching, Rogala? You see them holes? I have to duct tape them. That's how I fix things. You see this duct tape? Fix the rust. And then the duct tape on this uh, holds this light on. That's how I fix things. That's how we fix things around here. JPF. You know, it does the job. You know, why spend, uh, you know, a couple hundred dollars and pay somebody to, you know, get a, a new piece and put it in there and secure it? I don't know how much it costs, but sure it wouldn't be cheap but yeah these the new tires the new tires and uh, and wheels has the truck raised up so it's it's harder it's like trying to grab out of my brother's three-quarter ton and I just think if I add leaf springs to it, it's gonna raise it up even higher I don't really want to mess with airbags so I guess you got to constantly adjust them lower them and hook it up to a compressor or whatever so I'd rather just have leaf springs because I believe uh, they would be stronger but you see you see what I mean by like I want to split into the truck because uh, you know how many times I got to handle the wood I had to pick all these pieces up one at a time and throw them into the truck. Now I got to throw them out, but this is the last time I'm touching them. And probably another couple, two, three weeks or so, they'll be getting another load. I think they, they got by with two, two last year. A couple times I think I brought them three loads. And they've already gave me the check for $200. 160 for the wood 40 to drive over here and dump it out about 15 miles away but like I say well the, now there is a thing called the load load unloader or whatever I know Jeffrey Patricia or Patty have one for their their truck where you just hand crank it and it comes out and 90% of the wood comes out I mean I I always talk about it I should look into it because just think of how much t I, I would have been on the road by now. Been on the road five minutes ago. But I just hand cranked it out of there. And I guess they're not that expensive, a couple hundred dollars. I think Harbor Freight has one for about a hundred. But you know how cheap their stuff is. Oh, and, uh, and I told, if you watched the first live stream, I, I checked the message. I checked the message that I got last night that I didn't check. I somehow missed it and uh, she's like yeah well, we are looking for firewood and what's the price when the first things out of their mouth is price I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get it but I told her I told her you know for, for I don't do by cord or cord increments because the wood has to be moved in a trailer or truck you know unless you have a way to like have it in a rack and then you load the rack into the truck and then unload it with like a forklift the wood has to be just like in a thrown in a pile or stacked into a truck so I said I don't do it by quarter quarter increments I go but my level truck load which I showed you in the live stream this morning is approximately a face cord this is what I call it oversized truck load or a Joe cord which is approximately a 10 foot by 4 foot stack you, you put in that keyword approximately so if it comes out to nine and a half feet you're covered but if it, you know if it comes out to, to I don't know 11 feet by 4 foot then I put too much in but a lot has to do with how the woods cut and uh, you know some of these you see this some some pieces are longer and shorter than others if they're all exactly 16 inches and then it, it makes a difference on the, uh, how it goes in here. And the, the more shorter pieces you get, the uh, the more pieces you can fit in here. It'll be a longer thing. But 
the cut length, you know, the cubic feet doesn't change. And that's another way I sell it. Somebody comes with a trailer. I think I charge um, like three dollars a cubic foot thrown in, or three and a quarter, three dollars and twenty-five cents if it's stacked into there, something like that. You know, my approximate approximate cord price is uh, four hundred a cord, just for the wood. You know, this truck needs maintenance. I just had that oil change and new tires put on, which is like over sixteen hundred dollars. Thankfully, the fan that helped me out with it, he uh, he paid it with his credit card because I didn't have the money at the time. Pretty close to having it now. And uh, all he wants me to pay him back, he, he said, put a grand towards it from me, you know, to help you out. And you just pay the rest. And so I said, okay, I'll pay you back six fifty, And he was okay with that. So, got you know, there's still good people in the world, you know. It's not... It's not all haters on this uh, page, although there's a lot of them, and they seem to get a lot of my attention. It's hard to ignore them, you know, when they're so ignorant and making false claims. And, You're ripping them off. You're ripping them off. That's not this. That's not that. Why are you so stupid? That's what I want to say to them. Well, I, actually, I do say that to them sometimes. I'm going to try to do this without using Rogala's rake. You see the pieces just keep coming out. There's still probably another 40, 50 in there. I'm about ready for a union break, but I'm so close to being done. I think I'll just push through it, Billy Otis. You watching Randy Clay? You sleeping. Randy Clay's usually up all night. I see his comments coming in, like uh, Keith Lowry, too. See their comments come at like 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, dude, do you ever sleep? Yeah, during the day. I'm like, you a vampire? But I'm a, I'm gener generally an early bird or I don't know. With, with the pain that I'm in from this neuropathy, most of the pain is like at night, at mid 10, in between like 10 and 2 a.m. And that's when I end up having to take the pain pills. Which I only took one last night. The night before I took two. It just all depends on how bad it is. People ask me how I feel. I feel fine. It's just I'm in pain. But my strength's getting coming back. You see me moving. Moving faster than normal. And back in the spring, like April, M March, April, when I put my work boots on, they felt like they weighed like 25 pounds each. Now, now they're not that bad for walking, you know. I hope the camera angle's good. Looks like it might be a little bit too much this way, but I, I would hope that you could see me when I'm over here. But if you can't, I think you kind of get the picture. You know what I'm doing. Because I had to put you, put you over there. I forgot the, I was thinking about putting you on top of my truck. I did it like that before. But... I think this this angle's probably good. Getting where I can't reach them. Running out of arm. Try to get what I can. But I guess I could grab Rogala's rake. It works good for the last few pieces. I know he got it for uh, avalanche prevention, but it's too short for that. You mean you stand? You have to get right next to it. You needed like a one with like a six foot handle like what I had. But well, that was also fixed with duct tape. That's all my brother decided to do it. I'm like, dude, I could have did that. I don't want to trip on these. Hopefully I can reach them all. Get over there. You know, I think I'll just leave that up. Grab these and kind of strategically put them. If they feel, if they feel uh, wet... I'm throwing them farther over there so they move them first. Feel, you know, feels a little bit heavy. These dry ones put right here on the back. So this delivery, this is, I think, my... I did a delivery every day except Tuesday when I had the, the uh, tires put on. So my fifth delivery this week. And I'll put, put my total sales dollars... You know, over uh, it was at 950, 
now with this two hundred dollars I got it'll be at eleven fifty for total sales remember yesterday's I, I had to wheelbarrow him he was twice as far as they they are from me he was 30 miles away where where I'm at right now was only like 15 but I gotta these wait, let these gloves dry let these gloves dry so I can put some duct tape on them haven't found a glove that'll that'll last the leather gloves that I ha that I've been using I'm on my last pair and they're uh, they're the ones that are in uh in the quad right now I use for splitting I think I've had them for three years now I got a dozen of them a 12 pair or whatever I bought uh, my one of my customers Adam was by the place that I buy it from and he brought them to me I think they were like 60 bucks for 12 12 pair and then I gave him a price discount on his his firewood <sighs> Getting down to the nitty gritty. There's one piece that I can't reach, but I, if I uh, if I use these pieces, I go down and hook them and grab them. And then I can get them. So we're almost done. We'll just that walnut isn't that, doesn't that have nice grain? That black walnut. It's nice and lightweight and dry. This one feels kind of heavy, so I'll put it up towards the front. So they unload it first. Got a piece of ash and a piece of piece of ash. You know, you can see where the uh, emerald ash bore was on there, in between where the bark was. What's killed the tree? What's that's how they kill all the trees. All right, I'm put, uh, I let, every time I set these on on the bumper, I forget about them. So I don't want to lose them. It has some life in them. You know, with the uh, duct tape I can probably get another month out of them but once it starts ripping in there then I can't do nothing I don't want to leave this tripod in here it's not bad when I leave the tripod at my house like I did earlier the wrong one Let's see how many we got watching oh we got 28 watching what do you think oh there's Joe Joe Watton's watching I'm out here in parchment Joe what time's Michigan play is normal is uh Aunt Norma watching your mom Joe's my cousin, so like I say, check out the new wheels, Joe. Check them out. Hey, they, what? There's Daryl. Look at those. Doesn't this doesn't this truck look so tough right now? And just driving in the rain, kind of got it cleaned out. This headache rack looks real good. Looks real good. And like I say, there's their pile. And I'll show you. Got it all out. The breeze not too bad, so I think tomorrow, if it's not raining, I'm gonna split a, a Joe cord out of the um, trailer and deliver it to the customer and get home in time for the NFL games. So, all right, guys, thanks everybody who gave me a thumbs up. Thanks everybody who made it to the end, and I'm gonna go uh, deposit my $200 check into my checking account, and I'll have it ready by Tuesday. Of course, I went to the bank and they were already closed because I wanted to get $100 bills out, but I'm not messing with 20 So anyway, I'm going to head home, get some lunch. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.